Hey y'all, welcome back to The Ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and I'm so excited for it to be a Thursday, and I actually have the full day off. Um, really a great choice. This time last year, Laura and I got married, and we spent our honeymoon in Barcelona. It was incredible, and we were reminiscing all morning about you know the different fun things we would have been doing right now in Spain. But since we're kind of stuck here in Connecticut, there's worse places to be at the ranch. Um, I decided I'm going to do a whole bunch of repotting today. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. So I've got my new sediment here. And then um, I'm going to recycle the rest and put it in there for like grow my tomatoes and veggies and fruits this, uh, this coming spring. So um, what I'll probably do, because I have a whole lot of trees to do, and it'll take a really long time, I'm going to do the... Um, the repotting, hand them off to Laura to do the top dressing with that nice, uh, nicely colored different soil that we got. Um, has all the different lava rocks, greens, pinks, uh, whites. It's just awesome. Um, so I'll have her help me with that. And we'll probably just throw on a little show that we're binge watching. And I'll put it on a time lapse because I definitely don't have the amount of memory on my phone to get all of the minutes it'll take to do all of these trees. Um, so I'll set it to some music, do a little time lapse, and then bring you back at the end to show you, you know, the finished product. So, and who really wants to sit around watching me repot 12 pints, at least 12. <laughs> so that's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. All right, y'all. So after just doing the one red maple and then getting into doing this, uh, this coastal redwood, I realized how long it's going to take. And honestly, I know that wouldn't be very entertaining. So just like this one, I'm going to go through, take out any of the really long, obnoxious roots. Um, but as you see, I'm not putting it in a very shallow, uh, I'm not putting them in very shallow bonsai pots since they are two to three years old. I really would like to, um, you know, grow the trunks thick, so the larger pots for that reason. So this third year of life, that's going to be the goal. You see the nice shui I got going in this red maple, just starting to bud out. Um, so I'm not going to be doing like serious root chopping either. Um, this thing's kind of a tangled mess because it was growing in what I develop all of my, what I germinate all my seeds in, these little biodegradable pouches. So Laura cut them in half so that I could... Uh, use them as drainage screens as well. So that's going to be the process. I'm take them out of the pot, dump the, rake the old soil out into here for a repurpose with vegetables and fruit. Put the new soil mixture in. And if you missed the video on this soil mixture, I did it yesterday. So that's really recent in my um, videos. And then Laura is going to finish it with the top dressing of these, this awesome little mixture here. I just love the colors. It was a great idea. She said, why don't we top dress after, and I like it. So I have my little mister bottle. I have my root rake. I've got my root scissors, a shovel for the bigger pots of soil, and then um, the little spoon to top dress. So if it's your first time repotting and getting into bonsai, um, that's going to be the process I'm going to replicate. On um, redwoods, I have a bunch of trident maples, um, I have three weeping willows from my broski Scott Winard at Let's Do Bonsai. So um, my consigliere, as I call him, Ian at Back Garden Bonsai, you know, he told me, explained it to me like this. So if you're new, this is kind of simply the order you would want to do things in. So you do your pruning and then as your trees start to bud out in spring or it's a little earlier than spring here because i wanted a head start so i brought them out inside you um 
that's when you want to repot them, when the energy goes from the roots up into the leaves, and then those leaves can actually, you know, support the tree recovering if you do a hard root pruning and repotting. So that's the process. I'm going to replicate it as many times as I possibly can today. Totally psyched. And I will show you the finished product um, afterwards. So go ahead, stand by for that. Thanks for watching, y'all. All right, so here we have it. It really took a long time, but I'm really happy with how it came out. So all of these, the exception of a couple that already had terracotta pots, they got a terracotta pot upgrade. See this nice little redwood forest? The roots on this redwood were massive and knotted and um, on the three of them. And they were really dry, so I have to pay attention to water that more. Obviously, they're big drinkers. Got a couple of very early on starter weeping Japanese maples. So there, those buds are just starting to swell. So we'll see some growth on them soon. Lots of trident maples, really an attractive leaf. I'm loving the shade of the top dressing. That just looks good. The little blue jacaranda over here. This is a different variety of Japanese maple. I did the three weeping willows and one longer terracotta pot. It was the last one I had of those. I love that. So yeah. Thanks for your help, baby. You're welcome. So I'm gonna get these bad boys over to the sink, get some water on them and get ready to watch the Liverpool game this afternoon. So go Reds. Have a great week. Um, if I don't talk to you again, because I'm chilling this weekend, um, enjoy your weekend. Spring's almost here, y'all. We almost made it. Cheers.